Well, we're still in the St. George area. Right. Um, for the Color Country Model Railroad Club's open house. Which is always fun to come to. Oh, it's always a joy. This is just such a fun part of the world to visit. Mm -hmm. And uh, the more wintry it becomes up north, the funner it is to get down here. <laughs> right. It doesn't enjoy winter like we do. <laughs> no, they, they, they get the occasional snow. But for the most part, what you see right here is winter in this area. This is a little corner of that area, the Ivans and Santa Clara region. Right. And it's uh, it's unique in the St. George area. It's um, retirement capital of the world. Retirement <laughs> capital of the world. But it's just this is just an absolutely beautiful and it has a whole different look and feel to it than than the rest of the St. George area. Right. And over in this little corner of St. George is one of America's most spectacular model railroads. Oh, I'll say I love to come to this one. Yeah, Jim and Beverly Harper's uh, Proto 48 Railroad. Kind of a different scale and gauge combination there, Proto 48. But uh, the, this railroad was moved here from Reno. Imagine. They, they moved here uh, maybe to get away from the snow. I would imagine. <laughs> The uh, same as so many people have, but he very carefully sectioned this railroad up and moved it from Reno and brought it here. Right, and dedicated about half of his garage to it. Yeah, yeah, and and then has continued expanding it. He had a hobby shop in Reno. Oh, did he? And uh, he was one of the big promoters of this interesting scale and gauge Proto 48 and started offering... Uh, the necessary supplies that people would need if they were planning to model in this very unique and unusual scale and gauge. So there's Jim right there. There he is. He sure had tons of people coming by. He certainly did, <laughs> but, including us. <laughs> <laughs> including us. Well, it's always a joy to come and see his absolutely magnificent railroad. This uh, section over behind him right here is the newest section, Colfax. Isn't that neat? Up in, up in Donner Pass. Right. And uh, this has been an ongoing project for a while, but look how nicely this is coming together. Right. It's beautiful. And he's still, he's still adding little bits and pieces. Yes, I like his building fronts. Yes, that, it's just it's such a narrow little section of railroad. It's only... 14 inches wide, right, something like that. Right. He's, he's got the original train station and the hotel here. The rest of the railroad represents the interchange uh, on the other side of the Sierra Nevada, not the Reno side, but down on the Sacramento side. Okay. And, and actually more tucked up against the mountains. Uh, but realistically, the, the interchange there between the uh, the Sacramento Northern oh. and the Southern Pacific, where it ran up over Donner Pass. Isn't that interesting? What a wonderful, you know, and, and that's a well-modeled area. Lots of people love modeling that particular part of the world. This area right here is his model of the Sacramento Northern. Right. And then he's modeled the interchange between the Sacramento Northern and the Southern Pacific. Was the Sacramento Northern electric railroad? It was, yeah. You can see all the overhead wiring here. Oh, my. And I don't think Jim is actually running power through the overhead, but he uses the overhead. Oh, it looks like it could. Yeah, it's you know, all the pantographs work and trolley trolley poles and the trolley wiring. It's just really neat to see how he's integrated the, the Sacramento Northern into his uh, Southern Pacific Railroad. Oh, that's awesome.
axial so figure that would just like around the loose. And, oh, oh my he, he has, he has the, the so that is custom the with, that are built for a flower. Pretty much, yeah, all my stuff is, is geared axial. Okay, come on in. And so over a period of time, so in the sun, this thing is how the weather to run stuff. Why, in the earth, earth planes, the radio control of earth planes, they came from Taiwan and they could read. Yeah, it goes worse. He said you could There you go. Guy could walk in and have a shot, buy it off with it. So all the high, all the children. So what exactly is Proto 48? Well, uh, it's, a, it's a very interesting idea, and actually it was Jim and some of his friends who came up with the idea years ago. Really? But there's so many people who model in O scale. Right. But clear back in the 19th century, when uh, the standards for O scale were created, they made the track gauge wrong. Oh. Just to keep the math simple, instead of using four foot eight and a half inches, they said, we'll round that off to five feet. I see. <laughs> oh boy. That track right there is four feet eight and a half inches. Uh huh. So, because all of this track has been laid to a proper gauge, none of the existing O scale equipment will run on it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> see the problem. It's only narrower by about the width of one of those rails, but also the detail. Mm -hmm. Look at the, the individual spikes and tie plates and uh, rail slide uh, plates and the, the points here and the way the switch stands operate. Everything follows prototype practice. So all of the equipment either has to be built uh, specifically for Proto 48 or it has to be modified to run on this track. Wow. So a lot of these are brass engines that were built to the Proto 48 standards, but then some of this equipment like the freight cars are standard uh, uh, O-scale equipment built to 148 scale, but then the wheel trucks are built to run on this track. That sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> An immense amount of work. And not only is the gauge different, the entire profile of the wheel is different. The flange, uh, everything here is, is set to prototype practice. Yikes. Nothing is rounded off, nothing is cheated. Everything is exactly the way you'd find it on a real railroad. Yes, including the sign that says, bang head here. <laughs> I'm familiar with that sign. Me too. <laughs> I occasionally bang my head right there. Yes. Yes. Anyway, um, but if you look at this, the, even though it's it seems like such a subtle difference, um, just a glance at this and you can see, boy, this is just exactly like the real thing. Well, I would think I was looking at the real thing. And it, and even though it's sort of based on the idea that we're going to properly do the track. Um, that is extended all the way through all of the equipment. Which is just amazing. So look at the wheel profile here. Yeah. And you can see it. that's just different than what you're used to seeing. It's well, yes. just more accurate. The flange is smaller, the wheel is narrower. It looks like a real locomotive. The only thing I can tell different is the people are frozen and not moving. But other than that, I think I'm looking at a real... A real railroad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, these people are not frozen. That's a giveaway. Yeah, and their their, their scale is a little different yeah, too. Yeah, <laughs> pop up out of the mountains. <laughs> but uh, as you go around this entire railroad, and it is a huge railroad, that level of detail continues all the way around. Right. Every single uh, tie is hand spiked with with tie plates. Every switch has point slide plates and proper guardrails. Yes. Everything follows prototype practice. We've actually visited this railroad several times in the past. Oh, we have. I never get bored with it. Oh, it's it's amazing. Um, we've got, I don't know, three different shows. Oh, at least, yes. So I guess this is like our fourth show. 
But while we were here, uh, Jim sort of dropped a bomb on us. Right. He said the railroad's for sale. Oh. Um, I don't know if they're they're thinking of uh, downsizing or just, you know, you, you reach a certain point in your life and you go, I wonder what's going to become of my equipment uh, long term. And right. he'd really like to see this railroad survive long term. Right. I can't blame him there. So he's trying to think of some future for this railroad, and uh, the joke going around the room was uh, the railroad's for sale for half a million dollars, and they'll throw in the house. Well, yeah, yeah, there you <laughs> something, go. Something like uh. that, anyway. So I don't know specifically what they're thinking. Um, I don't know that, that uh, Jim and Beverly are completely sure of well, what they're thinking. They're probably just kind of planning ahead, like uh, a lot of people do. They're planning ahead, and... and uh, that's one of the things that so many of us have to confront. I wonder, you know, if I should be doing something with my railroad, with my equipment, with my legacy. Right. Trying to find some way to ensure that your railroad survives. Right. And a lot of possessions, too. Uh, right. and a lot of possessions. Our friend Steve has been dismantling his railroad so that pieces of it can find their way onto other people's railroads. Right. And that's a good idea. And that's a good idea. And that's been Steve's solution. But Jim would like to see this railroad survive. I would, too. I'm hoping that uh, he can find a solution for that because it needs to continue on. So uh, jump into the comments if you have any ideas or if you want to buy the railroad. Right, exactly. Because <laughs> I'm sure Jim will be following along and you can set up some communication with him if you have uh, some idea to buy the railroad or some other long-term plan that, that might work out for him. Now, we mentioned that this area over here is the Sacramento Northern. Right. And that interchanged with the Southern Pacific. The Sacramento Northern was a, an electric railroad, an inner urban railroad. Okay. And it connected Chico, California with the Bay Area. Oh, really? Yeah, actually running out to the, the famous mole. Oh. The Southern Pacific Pier, uh, <laughs> where both the Sacramento Northern and the Southern Pacific uh, tied up with the uh, ferry ships. There you go. How cool. For the Bay Area. And really fun, a small section of this railroad has been rebuilt ah. at um, a Rio Vista Junction. Okay. And we went out and rode that. Right. And they've put in the electric wire and they're expanding it and doing more and more and more with it. And uh, it, that's just really neat. Yes. It's just really neat to see that some part of this railroad has survived in the real world. And then, of course, another part of the railroad has survived right here in Jim's garage. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but it runs around a little shelf on the outside of the rest of the railroad. And it's just, it's just really neat no what kidding. it's done here. Right. Now, we mentioned that for Proto 48, all of the wheel systems, the axles and wheels and everything, have to be replaced. Right. But what he's also done here, since the, the entire mechanism for these locomotives needs to be rebuilt to the proper gauge, he's also made them operate just as they would on an actual electric railroad. Oh, neat. They have individual traction motors oh, cool. on each wheel truck. <laughs> <laughs> so they the the operations just incredibly smooth as well.
This is going to go through this tunnel and probably pop back out on that side now on the lower track. And this one. That's it. One, two, three, four tracks. Well, we have one more show, right? which is going to be our Christmas Day show. Right. Now, Christmas Day falls on Saturday. Exactly. So we're going to put it up a day early. Right. And because we want to spend Christmas with family. So. Right. We will be busy. <laughs> so watch for that. It will be on Saturday instead of Sunday, and it's going to be the most magnificent of uh, Christmas shows. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> and it will be another model railroad from down here, so watch for that. Well, if you're not a subscriber, you want to become a subscriber. For one thing, you need to be notified about the Christmas show that's about to go up. And the way to subscribe would be with the famous blue button. There, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> the blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you on Saturday. Yes. With the Christmas show. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.